Dear friends, please imagine with me the San Francisco that you want to see, the District 11 that you want to see. The task we have is to make this vision a reality. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Francisco Herrera. My family and I live on Peru and Naples. Our kids and grandkids have been raised here. Last year, I campaigned for mayor of San Francisco and with about $10,000 came in runner-up with a little over 32% of the vote after all votes were cast. I'm here today to ask for your vote to serve as your supervisor in District 11. This represents the Excelsior, Ocean View, Merced Heights, Ingleside, or also known as the OMI, Mission Terrace, Outer Mission, Crocker Amazon, Cayuga. For too long, we have allowed investors and predatory speculators to run this city and control City Hall. The result is a runaway bully market that is tearing up the very fabric of the city that we have built and has already displaced thousands of San Franciscans out of the, out of the city. We now have families in the district living in cars, sharing living rooms and garage spaces. We work here. We have the right to live here. With over 300 people, we have developed an eight-point platform to protect our families from unjust evictions, preserve the ability to stay in our homes, and produce more affordable housing for working families. We will improve the health of those dealing with asthma and heart conditions in the district, particularly in the Mission Terrace, save the farm on Cotter and Cayuga, as well as deal with the flooding there. Support small business corridor in the Excelsior, both on Mission and Geneva, as well as make sure the development of the M line is something that supports seniors and families living in the OMI. While at the same time, make sure we can have a full service grocery store in the neighborhood. Mini and Lovey Ward are examples I follow when I think of the health of District 11, because health is a lot more than having access to medicine or clinics. It's being free and from anxiety by having a living wage, enough money to be able to buy food and pay for rent, and still have a savings account. Health is clean parks and safe schools, like the great work Neighbors in Action has produced at Minnie and Lovey Ward Rec Center between Capitol and Lobos. Health is protecting our small businesses in the outer mission, as well as dealing with the noise pollution of low-flying planes. Education is key, not just in making City College free of tuition, but also supporting teachers who need to find affordable housing in order to be teaching here. As well as your supervisor, I will continue to support the great after-school programs we have, we have, like the Excelsior Science Project on San Juan, BC's Del Pueblo on the community school, and the YMCA programs on Farallon. We as a district have been ignored for way too long, but basing our work on making sure our families can flourish in this district like holding off on the property taxes in a way that respects retirees on fixed income, working for living wages for youth, that we can create with a green deal. We are one of the last working class neighborhoods in the city. Let's draw the line here for our families and work together to flourish in District 11. Health, education, living wages, job safety, vibrant small businesses, which is the heart of the economy in our district, clean streets for our seniors, children, and working people, secure affordable housing. This is all part of livability, what I like to call a little bit of heaven in District 11. And it was people like Lovey and Minnie Ward that I followed because in District 11, we the folks here can make a difference. Join me and vote for Francisco Herrera. Thank you very much.